and gentlemen. Uh, if you're a member of looking at anti-derivative, anti-differentiation rules, I got it, don't worry. Um, well, there's no anti like we can't apply what you were thinking of in this case because we don't have any rules for the antiderivative. Would you agree? Right? So um, go ahead and finding the antiderivative and then taking the area underneath is not going to work in this case. So, but what we can do is definitely sketch the absolute value graph. So, and remember this has a one to one kind of slope. So when I go over to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I go up as 5. So that's 5 comma 5. When I go left 3, 1, 2, 3, I am going to have been gone as high as 3. Would everybody agree with me? OK. So we know that the area of the triangle is going to be 1 half um, base times height. And you could both write these as right triangles. So just to keep things different, I'm going to use subscript. So I'm going to do area of my left triangle with a sub subscript of L. So that's going to be 1 half base times height. So therefore, I have 1 half. Let's do, um, that's going to be, it's negative 3. But again, this is above the x-axis, so it's going to be positive, which is 9 halves. And then my area of my right triangle is going to be um, 1 half times 5 times 5, which is going to be 25 halves. So now you guys can see that these are two separate areas. So therefore, to find my, in my definite integral of negative 3, 5, absolute value of x, dx is going to equal. 9 halves plus 25 halves, which is 34 halves, which is equal to 17. Wait, when you asked me that question, 